Is there such a thing as natural wine? It's a word which is not properly defined yet yeah. and will never be because the word natural in France, for example, is, uh, it defines a category of products which are the fortified natural wines. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to see a proper you know, rules of production charter that defines natural wines. Mm -hmm. if, if it's just add nothing to the wines and uh, either restrict or limit or forbid the use of sulfites, a lot of wine that were not sold as natural wines are actually natural, you know. I am afraid that for too many wines, it's a way to excuse a default sometimes. And uh, I always say the art of mastering the default is extremely difficult in winemaking. Only few places and few regions, and for only a very long time, can transform a default into a quality. But try this in Sautern. Uh, oxidation in the Jura region in France, for example. I'm just sure. giving you a few examples of major defaults which turn out to be extraordinary wine. But uh, uh, finding an excuse for not enough work in the vineyard and in the cellar and care uh, uh, to define a wine that actually is faulty, for me it's a problem. At the end, when I taste a wine, I want to be able to recognize the area I want to make the difference between a limestone or a granite, or a volcanic and a gravelly soil. I want to tell whether it's Pinot Noir or Cabernet Sauvignon, or if it's Riesling or Pinot Gris. I want to have a rough idea of the age of the wine I'm tasting. If a six-month-old wine tastes the same as a 30-year-old wine, for me, I, I, if, I, if I don't see the origin of, of the wine, and if the, the vinification practice and techniques uh, overpower all this information, it, it, it's just as bad as a technological wine that you can tell where it's coming from. It's the same thing.